Hello guys, today we are looking at the SPDR Marvel Legends 6 inch wave Kane Scarlet Spider. This figure comes included with the left arm piece of uh, SPDR which I'll post over here. And aside from that, this figure comes with three accessories. Five if you include both interchangeable hands. And I'll get to those in just a minute here. This figure first off includes all the articulation you'd come to expect on a Marvel Legends figure. It features ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, with also this extra range of motion in the shoulder, which we also see on uh, Spider-Man 2099 and figures up along as such. Swivel bicep, double jointed elbow, ball jointed wrists on both on both hand copies, an ab crunch, swivel torso, ball jointed hip, swivel thigh, double jointed knee, swivel boot, and finally the rocker ankles. So really this figure comes with every single bit of articulation we've ever seen in a Marvel Legends figure. It includes the extra range of motion of the shoulder, the extra range of motion with the swivel on the boot, as well as the rocker hips. So articulation wise this figure will not disappoint. You can achieve any pose you wish it to. And so now on to the accessories. This figure includes five accessories as I stated before. Comes first off with the head of Kane, which they very thematically used properly. Another old uh, Peter Parker head sculpt that was used with Cosmic Spider-Man first off, which is fine given that Kane is a clone. Um, then we have these nice closed fists, which we usually see Kane with. See here, just a nice little bit of red paint and full boxers. And finally, his last set of hands are his Spider Island, I believe, where he got the bone daggers per se. And they're very well sculpted, as you can see, back of the hands. One is in this open grasp, and they both include the bone dagger coming out, and it's a very nice touch. And for the head sculpt, for the last part, I'll show off that it fits on here. And it fits quite well. I know a lot of times Hezra has difficulty with getting things at the right height. I know, like, um, with the new upcoming Deadpool release, the head sculpt looks like it's 10 miles up off its neck. So they did a very good job of centering. This head sculpt looks very good. I don't know if it's perfectly Kane, usually since Kane wore a massive, massive beard, so it's not a perfect Kane head sculpt, but assuming they wouldn't have given us this rather than a new sculpt, I'm glad we got something rather than nothing. It's well done and serves the figure well. Now on to the final aspect of this figure, the paint job. So we already know the accessories are great, the sculpts are great, here's the other head sculpt in case you can see it. I believe this is a new sculpt with a much uh, pointier chin as well as the eye bulges out a little bit more than previous sculpt. So that was a nice touch as well. But the paint job is also just as crisp as the rest of this figure. All the finger paint, the black finger paint is really clean, it doesn't really bleed over. You can see here they keep that line going all the way around, very nice. And the Scarlet Spider logo on his chest is great as well. All the joints are cast in the right color, and even the Scarlet, Scar the Scarlet Spider logo on the back is wonderful as well. So really Hasbro nailed everything about this figure. Aside from a more accurate head sculpt, I don't know what else they could do with it, since we got decent accessories. You know, it's not overflowing with accessories like we've seen other figures have. But it's a decent amount. You can display your cane with a decent amount of things. The head sculpt isn't great, but it's another accessory that we basically got for free. So overall, I'm going to give this figure a 9 out of 10, deducting only one point for the lack of some wow factor, I guess, some like cooler accessories. They could have gone a little bit more with the hands, but this figure is still amazing. It does everything you want for your basic Scarlet Spider. The head sculpt isn't perfectly cane. I mean, yes, it's a Peter Parker head sculpt, but Kane usually, again, as I said before, wore his hair really long. So it's not perfectly Kane, but it will do the job if you wish to have an unmasked version. But yeah, the figure does very well. It fixes all the problems that the original Kane had, well, Kane Scarlet Spider had, and makes it so that Hezra, I don't think, should ever need to retouch this character. Unless they want to, like, a deluxe pack of Ben Riley, Peter Parker, Kane do all three of those and give us new head sculpts on each. That would be nice, but I don't I don't really see it happening unless the multiverse by Sony gets very popular and those characters get introduced at some point. Anyways, this is a great figure. Pick him up if you see him. I believe he's going for about 30 loose online without the build a figure part, and that's again just because the figure is new. I'd definitely wait. Hopefully you find him in your local store and pick him up. He's a great figure. Wouldn't miss out on him. Thanks for watching.